We all know about the blue whale and the elephant, both gigantic creatures. But today we're going to talk about a different set of giants, some of which you've probably never heard of until now. Number one is quite surprising, so make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. Here are 10 gigantic creatures on Earth. Number 10, Crabzilla. We're gonna start things off with an animal not only known for its incredible size, but also by its nightmare-inducing appearance. The Japanese spider crab is a species of marine crab that lives in the waters around Japan. It has the greatest leg span of any arthropod, reaching up to 12.1 feet. Mind you, that's from claw to claw. The body may grow to a size of 16 inches in carapace width and the whole crab can weigh up to 42 pounds, second in mass only to the American lobster among all living arthropod species. The Japanese name for this species is Takaashigani, literally translating to tall legs crab. It also has a unique and extremely long molting behavior that lasts for up to 103 minutes, in which the crab loses its mobility and starts molting its carapace weir and ends with molting its walking legs. It's pretty hard to describe in words, so here's a video of it. That's gotta be one of the most amazing things I've ever seen, or one of the most terrifying. I'm leaning toward the latter. Number 9. The Mekong Giant Catfish The Mekong Giant Catfish is the official freshwater heavyweight champion of the world. According to the Guinness Book of Records, a 9-foot-long individual caught in northern Thailand in 2005 weighed an astounding 646 pounds, making it the largest exclusively freshwater fish ever recorded. To put things in perspective, this fish is so massive that it could easily feed a small village. The thing is, though, they're found to grow even bigger, with scientists estimating that they can easily reach lengths of up to 10 and a half feet. The thing is, they're critically endangered. These giant catfish were once plentiful throughout the Mekong Basin, but their numbers are believed to have dropped by at least 95% over the past century. With no population figures available, estimates of the decline are based on the fall in the number of fish caught. Some experts think there may only be a few hundred or even fewer adults left in the Mekong River. Their decline is often associated with overfishing, but other culprits could also be the damming of Mekong tributaries, the destruction of the fish's spawning and feeding grounds, and siltation as well. Number 8. The Sunflower Star The largest known starfish, the Sunflower Star, manages to break several records. It is the largest sea star in terms of arm span, reaching nearly 40 inches from arm tip to arm tip, and is also the heaviest, weighing in at up to 11 pounds. It also has the most arms of any known species. Aside from the size, it is the number of arms that sets this sea star apart. Adults have up to 24 arms symmetrically arranged, more than any other known species. Because some individuals are a deep yellow, they do actually look a bit like sunflowers, with all the arms looking like petals. Given their name, you'd be forgiven to think that they only come in yellow, but not quite. Sunflower stars also come in several others, including various shades of purple, orange, red, and brown. Underneath, they are somewhat paler, with thousands of yellow or orange tubular feet. These feet act like suction cups, giving the sea stars an excellent grip and helping them catch and open their mollusk, sea urchin, and crustacean prey. The feet are also used for walking, and this species can move remarkably fast, up to 40 inches a minute. Okay, a bit underwhelming, I gotta admit, but in the starfish world, they're basically Sonic the Hedgehog and Usain Bolt. Number 7. The Flemish Giant Rabbits don't usually factor in when discussing giants. The Flemish giant is the largest rabbit in the world. They can grow to a whopping 2.5 feet long and weigh up to 22 pounds. They're pretty popular as pets. That is if you're in the market for a pet that hops like a bunny, but can steal food off the kitchen table like a puppy. The thing is, they weren't meant to be pets initially. They were bred so large to accommodate the growing demand for rabbit meat. In fact, they still are occasionally cooked, but their large bone structure and expensive diet means you're not getting much bang for your buck. People started breeding this giant back in the 16th century in Belgium. The first authentic record of their existence dates back to 1860s England, when according to Thomas Cotum's Origins of the Flemish Giants, published in the 1983 edition of the National Federation of Flemish Rabbit Breeders Guidebook, and yes, somebody actually took the time to write a book about these guys, Travelers returning from Flanders told tales of unusually large rabbits. Number 6. The Giant Weta Endemic to New Zealand, giant wettas are enormous bugs that are related to crickets. 
The largest giant whales can weigh in excess of 70 grams or about 2.5 ounces, making them among the heaviest insects in the world. Obviously being as heavy as a mouse can only mean one thing though, they can't fly. And although it looks like a cricket that spent too much time in the gym, it also can't jump as well. They are quite long too, with bodies measuring as long as about 4 inches, not including the legs and antennae. Aside from being absolutely massive, giant wettas also have other characteristics setting apart from other insects. For one, they breathe through their exoskeleton, and they also happen to have their ears on their knees. Because these giant creatures are only found on islands, they are an excellent example of island gigantism. And since they are only found on islands, they are highly susceptible to extinction. In fact, New Zealand's giant weta population is currently in decline, landing these insects into the endangered species list, primarily due to predation by rats. Number 5. The Giant Clam Meet the Giant Clam These bottom-dwelling behemoths are the largest mollusks on Earth, capable of reaching 4 feet in length and weighing more than 500 pounds. They live in the warm waters of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. Saying that these guys live a sedentary lifestyle is an understatement, because the only time these guys move around is right after they're born. They swim around trying to find the perfect spot on the reef to attach itself, and when it does, it stays there for life. Giant clams have a wildly undeserved reputation as man-eaters, with South Pacific legends describing clams that lie in wait to trap unsuspecting swimmers or swallow them whole. None of these stories have been substantiated, though. They achieve their enormous proportions not by gulping up passing divers, but by consuming the sugars and proteins produced by the billions of algae that live in their tissues. In exchange, they offer algae a safe home and regular access to sunlight for photosynthesis, basking by day below the water's surface with their fluted shells open and their multicolored mantles exposed. They also use a siphon to draw in water to filter and consume passing plankton. Number 4. The African Giant Snail See this creature crawling in your cabbage patch and I'm sure you're going to be running in the opposite direction. The African Giant Snail is by far the largest snail in the world. They have an average lifespan of about 5 to 7 years and when they have enough food and the weather is satisfactory, they tend to live much longer. Some of them have been known to live up to 10 years. And the thing is, they don't stop growing, with the largest ones reaching up to a foot in length. It originally came from Africa, but it is now considered one of the most harmful, invasive species in the world. It first appeared in Florida in the 60s, when a kid vacationing in Hawaii decided to pocket a few of these critters on the flight back home. And the species never looked back from there. The thing is, it doesn't take much for these animals to dominate any ecosystem. They are hermaphrodites, meaning one animal has both male and female reproductive systems. You can just imagine how fast these guys can actually reproduce. In fact, Florida has once successfully evicted these alien creatures, only to make a bigger comeback in 2011. Number 3. The Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Boasting a wingspan of up to 11 inches, the Queen Alexandra's Birdwing is a magnificent sight in the forests of Papua New Guinea. It can only be found there, also making it one of the rarest butterflies in the world. During its lifetime, a female Queen Alexandra Birdwing can lay only 27 eggs. An oddly specific number, but hey, who am I to question Mother Nature? That low egg output, along with the volcanic eruption of Mount Lamington in 1951, which destroyed large areas of the insect's habitat, has contributed to its current classification by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as an endangered species. After its discovery in 1907, the species was named after Queen Alexandra, the wife of then King Edward VII. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick shows us what quite possibly is the tallest dog in the world. It was sent over by a subscriber trying to find out more about it. Does such a large dog really exist? Let's find out next with number 2. The Caucasian Shepherd Okay, today's photo does look a bit weird to me. It's a toss-up between a large dog next to a tall man, or a regular-sized dog next to an unusually short man. In any case, whoever uploaded this photo did a pretty bad editing job, so it's safe to say that this photo has been manipulated heavily. But that's not to say that large dogs don't exist. The Caucasian Shepherd currently holds the title of the largest dog breed in the world. On average, they measure 30 inches up to the shoulder and can weigh upwards of 130 pounds. They were bred to care for flocks and defend the home against wild predators in the rough Caucasus Mountain region. 
They are so large and effective at their jobs, they've been known to kill wolves while on duty. Caucasian Shepherd Dogs are intelligent, and some people have kept them as family pets. But their stubborn, independent nature can make them difficult to train. Their natural distrust of strangers and other animals can also lead to aggressive tendencies if an experienced trainer doesn't keep them in check. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Xenophyophores. Amoeba are tiny. So tiny, in fact, that you can barely see them even under a microscope. But down in the depths of the Marianas Trench, a species of amoeba evolved to be the size of dinner plates. Originally described in the 70s, these xenophyophores were originally thought to be sponges. They were later identified as single gigantic cells and classified as members of the kingdom Protista along with other single-celled organisms. They are often more than 10 centimeters in diameter, and individuals of the largest species, Syringamina fragilissima, have been found that are twice the size. In contrast, other members of their family are commonly less than one millimeter across. Like many deep sea animals, Xenophyophores are well adapted to the extreme cold and high pressure of ocean trench life, but are fragile and difficult to bring back to the surface for closer study. As a consequence, little is known about their reproduction and other behaviors. They are, however, very abundant in their natural habitat. In some regions of the ocean floor, as many as 2,000 Xenophyophores have been counted per 100 square meters. Did we leave your favorite giant creature out? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.